So I typically like to tell movies that when the credits roll, it encourages some kind of conversation in the audience. Um, and because of that, I'm pretty open to different genres. Uh, my last film, like you said, was like a family drama. It was pretty dark. It was a little more melancholy. This one is a rom-com. The Iranian-Canadian filmmaker was named a Telefilm Talent to Watch recipient for his new film, Toronto. So the, the name Tehranto is something that is used pretty widely within the Iranian community in Canada. Uh, Toronto has the biggest Iranian diaspora outside of Orange County. So because of that, a lot of Iranians have kind of come to, you know, merging the word Tehran with Toronto to come up with Tehranto. Sorry. Get off the sidewalk, dickhead. What Sharon didn't realize at that moment was that crossing paths with this dickhead was her sarnivesh, or destiny. Before making the film, I realized that there was a lot of uh, Iranian movies that tended to show our sorrows, and festivals were usually programming those movies that were showing these like more depressing aspects of, of Iranian identity. And uh, I wanted to really tell a film and tell a story that uh, kind of focused on some more positive traits of who we are and, and really dive into our culture. So in the film, we explore Iranians who left Iran before the revolution and those who left afterwards and talking a little bit about uh, why some might want to assimilate in order to fit in or why some don't want to assimilate because of any kind of cultural pride and how uh, those different ideologies might clash. It's about owning your look, right? Knowing your roots, colored contacts, nose jobs, tweezing our freaking eyebrows. Batty, you don't know their experiences, okay? People have their reasons for wanting to fit in. Nobody wants to be a victim of racists. What's more racist than being ashamed of your own skin? Oh, come on. No, I'm serious. A common comment that we received when we were developing the film was a lot of people weren't sh aware of the fact that there are these different kinds of groups within the Iranian community, that a lot of people just looked at it kind of like a monolith. But the reality is there's all these different groups. Having lived in Oakville during his time at Sheridan, Farhan still has numerous connections here. Lots of people within Oakville are a part of the film. We actually shot many scenes of the movie in Oakville. Um, all of the campus stuff in the movie is filmed in, in Oakville as well, on, on Sheridan campus, which is cool because it was like kind of coming back to tell the story of like where we're going. Maradi acknowledges there can be a stigma around independent films. But I think that this movie does a good job of kind of going against what you might expect from an indie film. You get a little bit of comedy, you get a little bit of um, of drama, which is I think how all of our lives are, and I, I think that people might really appreciate the authenticity there. What are you afraid to be sensitive or something? Are you afraid of anything? Disappointing my parents. Aren't you more afraid of letting go of what you love? These days, there are two types of Iranian immigrants. Those who left Iran before the revolution and those who left Iran after the revolution. I don't know what you expected here when you came, but culturally we're too different. <laughs>